Good morning, come on in the design studio. Let's hang out while we make our first project from our April box. I subscribe to a monthly reef uh, subscription box. If you subscribe to that box and you don't wanna see any videos until either you get your box or you prefer to open your box and then look again when they open it on their page, then don't watch this video. It's also in the title. All right, so what I'm adding in to the box, we opened this this week on the page. So if you're finding this video and you have no idea what I'm talking about, go to the main page, go back a couple of videos, and I opened my monthly wreath subscription box. It's not a wreath kit. It is a box of supplies that they curate each month. And sometimes it takes you out of your comfort zone, which I personally love um, because I have found some things that I love that I would have never picked out in my entire life. Um, and I end up loving them. And then, like most of the time, I love the entire box. And this was one of those months. So, and it's something I would have picked out myself. All right. What I do is I run, I do this for a business. So, I already have my own supplies. So, I add in supplies to make two, three, four projects with the box. I take you along for those videos and as always if you would like to sign up for this box I have a link in the comments and I would love for you to sign up under me it doesn't cost you anything additional but it does help out my small business um, and helps me keep bringing you all of these free videos so what am I adding in today I'm adding in my own Chanel stems I'm adding in a navy mesh this mesh came in the box, has that navy trim. I'm adding in a navy. You could make it a wreath with just this, but I'm gonna add that in. And I added in my own red wreath frame. So let's get started. Some women love the sound of a cork popping. I love the sound of popping a tag off of a wreath frame because it means we're getting ready to have crafting fun. So I'm gonna get these open. gonna load up my mesh roller I'm gonna move my Chanel stems we'll need those later and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open up all the ties on my frame move that over. I'm going to take this navy, bring it out about eight inches. I'm going to scrunch that. This does have a metallic. I love that. It's a metallic mesh. I'm making a little poof. Putting that into my frame as far down as we can get it. Twist. And now I'm gonna grab this mesh, making sure my edges are curled under. I'm gonna go across two and come back. Across two and come back. We're gonna do that all the way around the top
I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and cut that mesh off. All right. I'm going to move this mesh over. First of all, let's go ahead and fluff. Let's go ahead and fluff our poofs. They will double or triple in size once you fluff them. All right. Okay. We're going to cut these 18 inches. I'm going to start putting these on my wreath because we're running out of basket space. So what we're going to do, the curls are naturally going down towards your mat. I'm going to leave about an inch under. I'm scrunching. And when I get to the end, I'm grabbing about another inch on that other side to keep it um, scrunched. It gives you this look. On the top, I am placing them in vertically to each tie. just going to do that all the way around that top layer of our wreath form.
Have any of you tried this method? I've shown you this method before. Have any of you tried it? It's so pretty. So there's our top layer. It's looking like a patriotic holiday. All right, I'm going to do the same method. And I'm going to place them in horizontally on the bottom. All the way around our form. Move my sign. I don't want it to get scratched. My wreath keeps grabbing it, even though I still have it in the protective sleeve. I'm just gonna move that over. Now this one popped out, so I'm just gonna roll it back under that inch and grab it. We're coming down to our last two, so I actually cut just enough. Actually, I see, no, I didn't cut enough. I need two more. Sorry about that. I couldn't see them. Let's cut two more and I'll show you the frame, our base. Our base of operations here. These are 18 inches. Now you still have some mesh left over that you can use for mailbox bows or door hangers or all kinds of things. Do not get rid of that mesh. Use it. Oh, we needed three. One, two. supposed to have storms all day today. It's very cloudy out there. You guys, when we move, you won't see my, see my dogwood blooming right there? There's three of them out there blooming in the front. They're gorgeous. And um, when we move, this won't be your view anymore. I don't know what your view is going to be. I'm still gonna feed the birds. We're still here, all the birds. I have to have my birds. Um, I just don't know what your view's gonna be. And this is a good one. 
I love that front yard. I love it. I sit in my rocking chair. I sat out there last night and um, enjoyed my dogwood blooms. They just popped yesterday because we did not have them for Easter. All right, and yesterday was my mom's birthday, so I thought that was pretty cool. All right, you ready? It's so pretty, it's so festive, it's so fun. Let me know if you're gonna try it. When I come back, we will continue on with ribbons. Let's play with some ribbon. Okay, so for our ribbon, this navy, beautiful, gorgeous, amazing four inch. Patriotic came in the wreathly box the monthly wreath box, and then this confetti. So I'm gonna use both of those. And then I did end up adding in my own ribbon because the double-sided ribbon they gave us um, is more royal blue. So I'm gonna use that in a project with something that's royal blue. But on this ribbon that I had in my stash, the navy stars are glittered and the red stars are glittered. So it all just ties in so nicely, but before I do any ribbon tails, when I'm using four inch ribbon, I like to go ahead and make my bows and do all the things and get my sign on before I do the tails. I'm gonna dovetail this. If that doesn't make you happy, I don't know what will. I'm gonna do an eight inch tail. I'm gonna do a six inch, six and a half inch loop, six and a half inch loop, eight inch tail, I'm going to come in with this confetti, I'm going to dovetail it. Give that an eight inch tail and we're going to do two loops we're going to make these loops slightly smaller than the first come in with the ribbon I chose and I'm going to use that to uh, tie it off and cover up that chenille. I'm going to put this tail up and then we're going to pull up and put this tail down and look how cute that is. Oh, it's just too good. This is just too good, but patriotic is Tammy's. That's her thing. She got us the goods for sure. Look at this. It's too good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna place our sign before I do my second bow.
Chanel stamps. where we need to put our ties. And this is what it says. It says, all gave some, some gave all. The all and the flag and the red stars are all glittered. And it looks amazing with all of this mesh. I think I'm gonna do both of these corners and if I pull them down tight enough, I think she's gonna be fine. But I think I'm going to put it off to the side because I really need to incorporate this four inch ribbon because it's too good. It needs a moment. It needs a moment. So we're going to put it off to the side, which means I could do these two corners. That's what we're going to do. Put down three pieces of felt. Me to empty the trash. Bad. All right. Now I'll just work this down into my wreath form. And the other piece. if we have a crossbar here we don't but it's like yeah we actually do we actually do so I'm going to utilize that it slipped a little bit on me so I'm going to bring it back to where I want it and I'm going to hold my hand on it pull it down tight And get this corner locked down. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for this one and sometimes it works out that if you have that crossbar on one end you end up having this crossbar on the other end. Let's see since I have this kind of over in a corner I'm not sure that it's gonna work out like that for me. Probably be close. No. It's close. I'm just pulling that down. I need it to be tight. Let me get this trimmed and wrapped around our frame. We'll add our bow and then go in adding some more ribbon and then another bow. much when you're dealing with four inch ribbon all around your wreath. You don't want to overwhelm it. So I don't cut ribbon ties for every single one, um, every single tie necessarily when I'm dealing with the four inch ribbon. Sometimes I do it like this and I really like it. So this is what we're going to do and heels outside. Now, think I'm going to let this rest right there right above this side line. so let me go down between the mesh and get this located I'm in love with this 
です。We have that on top. And what I'm gonna do is bring that four inch ribbon and if I can get my hands on it, the one and a half inch ribbon on top of it, right? scrunch it down, give myself a tail. I'm gonna put it in this tie beside that bow. My dovetail. Bring it down to this bottom tie. And tie that in. Give myself a tail. And we're going to dovetail this side. same kind of bow down here before we add on any tails. So that means we start with this four inch that is literally amazing. Amazing. Well, I prefer for my easy bow to face me. I had it upside down. The, we're making the same exact bow. We're going to put this at the bottom. I cannot wait to get this on the wall for you all to see. I say that every time, but I can see what you can't see. 
and I know where it's going. And so I get excited for you guys to see the final wreath. All right. Okay. I'm not going to trim the tails until we get up here on the project. My mailman is getting ready to deliver something to my door. I hope my dogs do not start barking. They're sleeping right now. And I hope they stay asleep. 50-50 chance. I'm putting that right there. Here he comes. We're getting ready to find out together. They might lose it. All right. And I'm just tying this off. I'm getting so many deliveries, it's not funny because I did a Walmart online order and it has come in so many different boxes from so many different places, I can't even tell you. Today, I'm serious when I say two FedEx trucks with two different drivers came to my driveway like within 20 minutes of each other with parts of that Walmart order. I don't know. And now he has, I guess, part of it. I don't know. I don't know. Do they use USPS? Maybe that's Amazon. Anyway, let's fluff our beautiful bow. And we can decide we need it to be a little bit shorter. Wow. The dog slept through it. They're sleeping on the job. Thank goodness. So we have the bow up top, we have our sign, and then we have this one coming down the side. So now what I want to do, give myself some room, and I'm going to put in a few of these. I'm going to go ahead and dovetail it. I'm going to do it's roughly that's seven inches. And I'm just going to put it in my tie. And then match that. And dovetail. So that's a 14 inch tail, is what it is. So, knowing that, let me move this out of our way. There's one there, two, I might do three of these. So let's do three at 14 inches. If you're new to this series, I get a monthly subscription box and I open that box with you and then I do um, some videos adding in my own supplies and showing you how I use my box for my business. I use it for my business and so um, all these projects go into my Etsy shop and I just take you along to show you what possible with your box and so I am an affiliate for the box and I will link it and I would appreciate if you sign up for the box if you would sign up under my link. I'm just gonna skip. I don't want them in every one. And I am putting them on this powder edge. I'm going to put one right here. Skip. And I'm going to put one right there. And then we're going to have to count. How many times? 
ties do we have left? So one, two, three, four, five on the bottom. Let me take care of those five really quickly. And I'm gonna do that by cutting five of these, 14 inches. have to tell anybody you're working on patriotic there will be signs and you want to know what the signs are glitter glitter everywhere makes me happy I'm okay with it I do want to vacuum my desk off though <laughs> I can't wait to get off this video and vacuum my desk off all right and now I am putting the two wired edges together dovetailing those we're going to make some ribbon tail packets for the remaining five on the box. Just fold them in half. Then you're ready to work on your wreath and just keep it moving. I'm going to put that under my bow. And then we'll see what we need to do on the top to finish her off. In that in behind my bow. So I have one, two, two on top. I'm just going to do them right here.
open that up and on that center I just scrunch it and put it into the pie. And I only had two that needed it on top. I'm just integrating that under that bow because that bow is doing all the talking. Then there was one right here. She's so pretty. The only thing I can't decide is if we should put a white ribbon in the navy four and a half inch. Let me see how I feel. Let me see how I feel. I kind of feel like, let's just try one. I think I might like it. I love, love. Love, love, love this confetti ribbon. I love that it's white. White makes patriotic pop. Let me see. I think so. I think we're going to, friends. And then we'll be done. Then we'll be done. She'll be done. Okay. It's too good. It's too good not to add it back in. A last minute decision here. And because you're a designer, you get to do that. And should do that. As you go, if you change your mind, then adjust. I want mine to just lay right on top of that navy. I want it to lay right on top. This is our first project with the box. This box is going to have several projects. Um, so, be ready. Be ready to hang out this week because we have several things we can make. And I am trying to get my patriotic start. How about you all? She's done. Let me hold her up. I might actually, right here, I'm going to put two tails. If you can see it under there, so I just want it to look completely finished. This might be, I mean, some of you would not even bother. And that's fine. You wouldn't have to, but I just feel like I want to stuff it back in there. So, one more. Just bear with me one more second. Under that ribbon. I like that better. And I'm going to keep it under the ribbon, but when someone looks at this from the side, they'll see it. And this will go over it, and that's fine. Okay. She's done. She's beautiful. I love her. I'm going to go put her on the wall and get her photograph and film for all of you. And let me see it. All right. Okay, friends, we have other projects coming out this week from the April subscription box. It is one of my favorite boxes so far. So, this isn't goodbye. I'll see you later.